to myself, I want to show you a tour of my world. So right here, we got the iron golem farm with ladders all around this glass. Glass is non-spawnable, so no monsters or iron golems can spawn in this or leaves. Damn, I didn't realize. Got my massive garden, nether portal. That pillar leads down to my mine. That right over there. I'll, I'll show you that. That used to go down to my old mine where I used to mine. That's my house. Trees right there. Bridge to that village, which I don't use anymore, so I'll probably never use this again. Sugarcane farm right here, kind of. Then we got the villager breeder right here. I did build one new building uh, for the world tour, so there is one new build. So we got the water stream. It goes down into this hole, connects to a water stream, and goes all the way down here. I'll show you that later. Two cows. I'll probably never breed. We got the Jeb and then we got Spiral, the orphan that I saved. Because I killed his family. Okay. Murdered them all. So, going down here. We got the villagers. All the, there, there's going to be a lot of rooms. Um, more rooms and more villagers. But, dang, all of the, both of that's oxidized and... I mean, that's partly almost oxidized, and this is almost oxidized, too. Oh, that's cool. But, yeah, water stream connects up to here. They fall into the boat, and then I boat them over to one of their, um... Um... One of their work places? Yeah, yeah, one of their jobs. So, we got that. We got the bubble, el bu bubble elevator. Shoots us up. It's almost nighttime. So I'll sleep. This is the inside of my house. Got the banner. I'll show you upstairs too. Because upstairs is a little little attic. I should probably put cobwebs up there just to kind of make it look cool. But yeah. We got the ominous bottle. My first ominous bottle. We got a bed there. Just, yeah. The ominous bottle. <laughs> is basically a curse. So if I have guests over and they want to sleep up there, then they're cursed. I'll show you the rest of my house. Um, but let's, let's go down here. This actually took a while to build up. So I'm going to go down. All the way down. So this, so as you guys noticed, there was amethyst. And basically, what I meant by building that amethyst, this was an old cave that I explored. What I meant with the amethyst was basically down here is an amethyst geode. So we're like traveling down, you see that amethyst down there. So down here is an amethyst geode where I can like collect amethyst crystals, um, like all this. All this being produced so I can just easily grab amethyst crystals without really having to find a geode every single time. I could just mine this these amethyst crystals. I that's basically it. Like it's so easy to just mine these crystals. Oh, that, that exposed a new one. It's, to me, this is like the easiest way of mining, mining just amethyst crystals. You can't actually get this kind of block. Can't get that block. But it's always a little cool nifty thing. I've, I've found amethyst geodes in my other hardcore, like, like season 6, uh, season 8, something like that. I don't know. I, but I found amethyst crystals before, and I never really just built up. This one was, luckily, it was close enough to my house. It's either if, it's either one of two things. It wasn't close enough to my house, and I would have to probably write down the cords. But thankfully, 
is close enough to my house that I can just directly see this little arrow pointing downwards from my house. But yeah, so let's go inside my house. The nether, not really cool. I haven't gotten blaze rods or anything like that, which I should probably get at some point. And also ender pearls because I know where our fortress is and a warped forest is. This was my old suit of armor. I do now have diamond armor. I'm living like a peasant. Because in SP's famous words, diamonds are for peasants. Hey guys, diamonds are for peasants. We got the storage area. We have assorted block items, valuable items, assorted food, random items, wood items, and then this place, I don't know what that's gonna be, but these go in the valuable items because technically those amethyst shards are valuable items. They may have the lava pit if, let's say I wanna throw away something that, like this sword. This sword, I don't need. So all I have to do, Q. Did not plan for that sword to actually be in my inventory. Uh, down here, I'm gonna build a staircase kind of like this. I don't know what this room is gonna be yet because I haven't figured that out. But down here is a very important place. We have the enchantment room, yes. Shroom lights all around this. Level 30 enchantments. <laughs> So, let's say I want to enchant this pickaxe, which I probably won't. Efficiency 4. Level 30 enchantments. But yeah, lapis in here. I'm probably going to get some books or make some. I don't know. But yeah, I spend most of my time down here. So, I'll probably make that other room an awesome kind of bedroom. I honestly don't know. Or I make it like a super smelter or something like that. Or just like a farm of something. I don't, I don't know what I would farm in there technically. Unless I could build that room all the way down and that connects to my village or hall. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Or that could be a different nether portal. Or like a nether hub or something like that. Where I got on top of the nether roof and I could do amazing stuff. Guys, it's for this. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not going to start that again. But it's probably going to be for like a bedroom or something like that. Like that. I don't know. Maybe. It, it, it is a possibility. Did I get... Did, did I get an achievement? No. No, that's not an achievement. But I do, I do want to do one thing. So before I end this little tour, there is an achievement... That is craft a crafter by a crafter. If that makes sense. I'm going to do that. If I can find a material that allows me to use a button. Uh, one of these maybe allow me to use a button does does this shape into a button no it doesn't okay this is gonna be a lot harder than I think I thought it would be um guess I'll have to sacrifice a piece of wood all right button acquired now we can go like this put that in there Okay, this is it. It's cra uh, craft a crafter or craft something by a crafter. I'm just gonna do this. Nope, nope, nope. Do that. Boom. Oh, you kidding me? <laughs> I think that button. Activated both. So let me see. Let's try this again. Okay. Wait. 
Where is it? Where is it? Be near a crafter when it crafts. A cr when it, oh, when it crafts a crafter. So I have to craft another crafter. So five iron. Okay, so I'll need a dropper or a dispenser. How do, how do I make it? So I need th three. Need five. One of these. Feels like this. And I'll take some of that. Don't a don't ask me why I have so many of uh, cobblestone. Cause the honest body got no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not because of that. Well, I might do it at the end of this video, but just so you know, you're forewarned. Yeah, it's because I've been mining out these rooms. Okay. I think we got it. I, th I think we got the items. So, like this. Pretty sure. Okay. There we go. We got it. The achievement. Probably never going to use it again, but that can power all three of those whenever I need items. So yeah, that is the tour of my house, and I hope you guys enjoy what's to come for Minecraft. Next episode, I hope to travel the nether with full prot for diamond armor. I tricked you guys. I said I was going to do it at the end of this video. I said it, but you know what? I'm not.